All right, you battlers. You know what it is, Jay Devin back at it with another Go Battle League video. So I know the, win the wins say seven, so this is gonna be a video with two sets. And then the team that we are using here is Shiftry, Deoxys, and Registeel. And as always, there are the IVs. Now, first off, you know, it was seven out of 10 wins. One of them I think was very questionable because of because of lag, unfortunately. There's Bruh. <laughs> I mean when, when you get the lag, you know what? What are you gonna what are you gonna do about the lag? There's not much you can do about it. The strat for this is very simple. I think this team can actually perform a lot better than this, obviously given the right situations. And um, there are the rules or the, the strat, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Very simple. Lead shift tree, swap, deoxys, and then kind of close with registeel. Now, you'll notice too, so my shift tree, it's like Dude, what are you doing? It's perfect. Yeah, it is the perfect shift tree that I have right now in Great League that is double moved. Um, IV is 15, 15, 15. Across the board is perfect. Obviously, that is not going to be ideal for Great League. Um, eventually, I'm going to be maxing this one out for Ultra League. That's the only reason I'm using that right now with the perfect IV spread in the Great League. But you can see for this first game, so we had a um, shift tree versus shift tree open. I was like, oh, great. That, I already know this is going to be a great one. This is going to be a good video because game one, we already kind of have a, a mirror situation going on. But you notice already they have Altaria, which um, since we both opened up with a shift tree, I know my shift tree needs to um, do some work potentially in the mirror match. I need to outplay them in the mirror, especially since I have perfect it, which kind of puts me at a disadvantage. So I bring in the Registeel now to get rid of this um, Altaria, or at least, you know, to do what we can to get rid of the Altaria. Now, at this point, I do not use a shield even though it's foul play. I'm going to go straight double Leaf Blade into the opposing shift tree because uh, at this range with how much damage they've taken, it's definitely going to KO. I think I invest a shield now. No, I still don't. Okay. I still do not invest a shield. I think I actually want to um, snarl down, which I was really close. I think I could have, but we weren't quite there, unfortunately. Now I use the shield, so I have the energy that I have built up. And look at that, perfect perfect for us at least that, you know, we played it this way because they actually opted to have their Azumarill sit in the back. So we had the double leaf blade built up. We can throw them right away, the Azumarill's gonzo because we can finish it um, with the next flash cannon from this Registeel or potentially, you know, with what we have left, I think, on the Deoxys, what very little we had left. But we did get the flash cannon anyway, GG's for game one. And going into the next opponent here, Fenrir 4 again. We're gonna be opening up with the shift tree every single time. Looks like they lead with Melmetal, which is kind of rough, but I'm gonna swap into the Deoxys as quick as possible against the Melmetal. And uh, you'll notice too, what I've changed on the Deoxys is I opted to just get rid of Thunderbolt. I briefly mentioned it on my stream, like, you know, maybe instead of leading with Counter Rock Slide Thunderbolt, what if I use him as a swap, leave the Rock Slide, and then run the Psycho Boost. So that's what we ended up doing. I do kind of go for a Shield Bait here with the Rock Slide. Unfortunately, it does not grab a Shield, but that is okay. That makes sense, you know, against the Whiskash, most people are going to not use a Shield because if you run the standard set of Counter Thunderbolt and um, Rock Slide, Whiskash is going to resist all of that. So um, at this point, they do throw the Mud Bomb, obviously, but I'm able to catch the damage with the Shift Tree, which it does resist. So um, we caught that very well, but now they have this, this Altaria. So it's good at least that we had the energy lead that we had with the Shift Tree at the time because we were able to throw the Foul Play, which is neutral, and uh, with Shift Tree as attack stat, even in the Great League, just does massive damage. Massive damage to the Altaria. So we uh, bait with a Leaf Blade, which was successful. I was hoping we could reach, you know, maybe another leaf blade but no not not with the not with the lag and breath damage ggs um but now again since we are closing with the registeel in the strategy we have a shield left and basically a full health registeel so i wanted to you know swap to see if i could catch the sky attack and conserve my energy on the registeel unfortunately we could not but that's okay at this point anyways because we still we still have the shield left over and uh, now out comes this mel metal so i'm like okay they're definitely going to throw superpower i got a shield we'll build up a little bit and then swap into the Deoxys, so they're forced to use more energy. And then at this point, this is this is closed. There's nothing they can do. We have the Flash Cannon good to go, and they've already debuffed themselves with their first superpower, so that is closed for Game 2. GG's. All right, going straight into Game 3 against John Watson Lopez here. Um, this trainer decided to open up with Azumarill, so I kind of played this a little bit wrong, if I'm being honest. I mean... So I stay in up, right? I'm just gonna throw the Leaf Blade. The Azumarill doesn't like the Leaf Blade damage, but it definitely can tank at least one, of course. Azumarill is a tank. Um, but rather than, you know, swapping out or, you know, just letting the, the Shift Tree go or letting the Ice Beam go through, I decide to shield and to stay in, which, you know, kind of makes sense, I guess, in the moment, but you'll, you'll see from how the rest of the match plays out, if this is the one that I'm thinking about, if this is it. But now they have the Skarmory, which 
Um, Skarmory can definitely answer Shift Tree, but again, that's the great thing about Shift Tree. His energy gain with Snarl combined with having access to foul play, he can still hit Skarmory really, really hard. So um, we come in to answer with the Deoxys. We take the Sky Attack to the face. I continue to farm up because okay yeah this definitely was not the <laughs> this definitely was not the game i was thinking about that we lost never mind this, this one we definitely won this one i think we won this one by a long shot they have the bastion on here and i've only revealed two of my three pokemon for this match so it's pretty much ggs just based on how the comp and the matchups have gone so far so we throw the psycho boost i just want to throw what i could at the moment so we can swap into the shift tree and um, use what we have left of him to throw the leaf blade we took cmp obviously and then their Stone Edge is going to KO, but we don't care because there's not much at all left on the Regist, not the Regist, still the uh, Shift Tree. So now comes out the Deoxys again, and we can throw the um, Rock Slide into the Skarmory, and that's them um, closed. GG's. So 3-0 and oh so far, we do have a very hot start for this uh, first set running this team. I'm liking it a lot. They open up with the Registeel. I think this might have been the one where I didn't like how it played out. We'll just see. Oh, I think this is why. They... They brought a Haunter, they swapped in with the Haunter, which, you know, definitely hard answers our Deoxys, but again, lucky for us, since we're using him as kind of a safe swap with this specific team comp, we are able to throw double Psycho Boost at the Haunter. We get the first shield, of course, then we throw the second one. Since our attack has fallen from the effect of the Psycho Boost, um, it's not quite able to KO. Unfortunately, Haunter is still a massive, um, it's still very squishy, but, you know, even with how squishy it is, it's not gonna be able to KO with that debuff, so. Um, we came in with the shift tree, we soaked up the charge move, and then we swap into our Registeel. Obviously, we gotta throw up the steel or the shield with a focus blast, and then they have a Zoomerill here in the back. So I'm like, oh man, if we win this one, if I win this match, it is going to be so stinking close. So they built up plenty of energy on this Azu. I'm like, okay, you know what? Ice Beam, Play Rough, Hydro Pump. I don't think anything is gonna actually KO at this range. Registeel's still pretty tanky. Uh, but then they throw another charge move right away. So it looks like they are running play rough as well. Um, I probably could have played that a little differently. I don't I don't think it was bad the way I played it though. I don't think it was bad by any means, but now I built up that energy um, on the Registeel and then I do this quick swap to uh, Leaf Blade that Azumarill, get it out of here because I know they're definitely gonna want to save their shield, right? So I gotta get the Shift Tree out of here because right now, since um, that Azumarill isn't quite gone, Shift Tree's probably more of a liability than it is gonna help me against the opposing Registeel. I knew that's what I had to do. I had to do that swap and then bait with my own flash cannon and then land a focus blast for the win, which we did. GG's, GG's trainer. That was a really good one. All right, and the next opponent here, Elpin Chesino. Elpin Chesino, I'm not sure. Um, okay, don't, don't know yet. This is the one. They <laughs> Who opens with the Charmer, dude? Who opens with Clefable? Apparently th this battler does. GG's well played. And not only that, but they can hard answer us with the uh, Whiskash. So, you know, I guess, Matchups like this is exactly what their team is counting on. So considering that, I don't think that, you know, lessens the, the value of this strategy at all. I think this team and this strategy is still very viable. I think it works very well. It's this is this is literally the only person I've run into out of like what did I, I think I did three total sets running this team. And this is the only person I ran into that actually played that this way. So it is what it is. I think we're we're still good with this strat. It's still very solid, but they just they had the answers like right away. So that's just based on the team comp. Um, they have a Meteor Mash at this point and or a Psychic possibly, but either way I'm going to Shield because I need to get rid of this Clefable if I want to have any kind of hope of winning. And I think this was potentially a mistake too. Um, I opted to throw the Psycho Boost, which they don't shield, and my attack was debuffed. I should have thrown the Rock Slide, but you know, it doesn't matter anyway because now they come in with the Whiskash Mud Bomb right away. And um, I was at this point, I was like, there's no way they have a blizzard yet. There's no way they do. And they don't. Um, and we are able to, oh no, we're not. It was close. I think I decided to shield up now because the mud bomb could potentially KO. Shift tree is still pretty, you know, pretty squishy, but then, oh yeah. They had the, uh, they had the register still in the back. You know, it, I think we played it as well as we possibly could have with the matchup for this um, first set, even in the last game here, but they just had, they literally just had the comp for us. That's that's GG's. It's closed out. There's nothing we can do. We'll throw a Leaf Blade. Shift Tree, come on, do what you can. It, it could have potentially still been close, you know, if I reached another foul play, but no, no, GG's trainer. All right, then we will start going into the uh, second set here for this Go Battle League video featuring this team. I do still really, really like this team. You know, that, that last game, it was, I'm kind of salty about it, but I'm also not at the same time, because even though, you know, they had the answers, um, hands down, we still played very well. So, Fidgero? Fidgero. 
Pajero. I'm not sure how to say it. First opponent for this next set. They open up with the Togekiss. We open up with the Shift Tree. Sorry, Togetic. But they ended up... Ra <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a Rage Quit. I don't know why they quit, but they quit out anyways. So, GG's Trainer. Let's continue moving on here for the next opponent. <clears throat> which is Toshiro 3-1-J1. I think this was a very good match from what I remember. They open up with the Whiskash, so we definitely hard caught that lead, but look at this. They swapped in with the Haunter, which was really, really interesting. This is one of those things where it's like, you definitely need to know your typings because Haunter is not really going to be a good answer at all to the shift tree. Um, not at all at all. I mean, I guess potentially the reason he did it is because he knows that shift tree is going to hard counter Haunter as well as Whiskash. So he wants to get rid of the, the you know, the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> well, I can't remember what it's called. Not li not liability. He, he just wants to get rid of the Haunter because he knows it's also going to be a problem against the shift tree in the future, right? So it looks like he opts to have a Meganium in the back here. So kind of an interesting team comp, you know, not necessarily core meta, kind of sub meta. And it's not, you know, necessarily cheese or anti-meta either. It's kind of a Kind of a weird team composition. I guess, you know, with that kind of team comp, you're really counting on specific matchups to align for you to win. And that's not, you know, in my opinion, that's not the best way to play, especially in Go Battle League, because there's going to be a lot of people, you know, running the super duper hardcore meta. And if you're counting on, you know, just winning the lead, for example, with the team composition, then you are going to be super duper salty. You're probably going to be rage quitting a lot and you are not going to like go battle league with how it plays out. But I mean, it's closed out. Meganium, we still have two shields on the Registeel. GG's trainer. Liability, that is the word I was looking for because the, the Haunter back in that previous match still would have been a liability also against the Shift Tree. Anyway, so um, this opponent, they open up with the Altaria, which kind of threw me off. I don't see Altaria opens that often. Um, so we answer, you know, right away with the Deoxys and see is kind of our safe swap in the strategy and they answer with a Registeel. So we can deal super effective with the counters, but Registeel would resist Psycho Boost and resist Rock Slide. So it kind of puts us at a little bit of a disadvantage since we got rid of Thunderbolt, but we're still able to do a little bit of work, especially if we invest a shield or two um, against the Registeel in this matchup, which it looks like I did. I don't know that I should have, to be honest. I think I should have let the other one um, go through, should have let the second one connect so I could have saved my shield because um, now we're at a, you know, <sighs> We got rid of their Registeel, but now we have no shields and they still have two. So that puts us in a really tough spot. The Sky Attack isn't going to quite KO the Deoxys, so we can at least threaten them um, with another Rock Slide. And then at this range, this is one thing I do like about Psycho Boost 2 and all these sets that I ran is I would not have been able to reach a Rock Slide, but I was at least able to reach a Psycho Boost, which if it doesn't get a shield, it'll at least do another decent chunk of damage. And um, so this, I think this might have been it. They had the Whiskash. I was like, there's no way they've already built up. Yeah, this was it. There's no way they've already built up enough energy for a Blizzard. They did. There's there's no way. They got in what? Like six six mud shots? I'll have to look into that to see how much. But I, I don't know what happened there. That seemed kind of weird. And I'm kind of salty about it still because there's. I really don't think they should have had access to that Blizzard already. But, you know, they did. So it is what it is. We took the L. GG's. The Mud Bomb is going to finish the job. GG's trainer. I'm going up against the next opponent here, Vantrax. I'm not sure what it said, 1981. They open up with the, the Alolan Raichu. So <sighs> this matchup's a little closer than you might think it is. I mean, we will resist the Thunder Punch and the Volt Switch, but you know, you got you have to remember and take into account that Shiftry is still pretty stinking squishy. So if we don't invest a shield, then we're going to lose the matchup. Um Potentially. I mean, we landed the Leaf Blade, so the Alolan Raichu is gone, so it's out of there. Now they have a Venusaur to come in, but since we opened with the Shift Tree, I don't feel any immediate need to swap, especially due to his energy gain with Snarl and Foul Play, Leaf Blade, etc. So we landed the Foul Play into the Venusaur, which did a huge chunk of damage. And now the Venusaur is basically going to be walled by the Registeel here. Um, but I, I think from what I remember, and pay attention to this too, because I try to go for a complete farm down with the lock on, right? I want to lock on farm down this Venusaur all the way, and I don't want to use any shields. But even with the Frenzy Plants from the Venusaur being resisted, look at this. Look how much damage it's doing. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to throw a charge move. I don't want to take another Frenzy Plant. Um, smart on them. They saved the shield, and now they have their own Registeel in the back. So since they still have a shield, I'm like, all right, I'm going to bait with the Flash Cannon, which did not work. They still did not use their shield. Smart on them. And um, they are going to Flash Cannon our Deoxys, but that's okay at this point because they're low enough and I have enough energy built up, etc. that they um, they quit out. It was, it was, that was pretty much said and done for that game at that point. But um, going into the next opponent, what is this? This might be the last one. 
either this is the last one or the next one would be the last one for um, this video. So they open up with a Deoxys. Now, even though I can hit Deoxys with super effective with the foul play, I want to get out of there as quick as possible because Deoxys will um, deal a great amount of counter damage since it is still super effective to the uh, to the shift tree, right? Now, they answer my swap with a, an Altaria, which seems kind of interesting because more often than not, um, I feel like, you know, Psycho Boost and Thunderbolt can be the wild card. Um, additional charge moves on a Deoxys, but almost everyone is going to have Rock Slide on the Deoxys, and I should have just gone for Psycho Boost. Again, you know, I was thinking I could hit the Rock Slide, but not with the Dragon Breath damage. Just go for the Psycho Boost if you're running it this way, unless you know for a fact that you can hit the Rock Slide. Don't play with the Dragon Breath damage. Don't play any games with the Dragon Breath damage. Now, they have Deoxys here. Again, they bring him back in, so I'm going to throw the Flash Cannon right away. And then I believe I swap. Yeah, I do an aggro swap into the shift tree because at this point, I still have two shields. They have none. Shields are down. So all I got to do is get to the foul play and that, that Deoxys is going to be Gonzo. Now, they had enough energy, of course, to throw double rock slide, but they are able to swap successfully into their Registeel here. So I have to throw the foul play right away, and I'm hoping that I can at least get one more. Um, okay, we did. We did get another foul play. Now, I'm paying attention to the sw switch clock at this point, too, because I'm really hoping they don't throw a charge so I can swap out and save the shift tree after getting another snarls in but unfortunately they were smarter than that uh, that's pretty much GG's not not really much I can do if I was able to swap potentially but no I didn't GG's trainer at this point in time I still do like this team but uh, not so much you know because snarls a little bit of a slower move it can be pretty situational for wins especially if they swap on you in time and you throw the wrong charge move um, that's one of the disadvantages to running this strategy because when that happens like you're basically locked out because a lot of this strategy is um, dependent on landing the proper moves on your lead with shift tree because if you end up swapping out, you want to conserve that energy, etc. So I do feel like the strategy can be, you know, a little bit risky. It might require a higher level of skill and or a lot of practice to execute properly, but I also still, I, I love this strategy. I love this strategy a lot. And I also like using Deoxys this way because he is definitely, um, I feel like he's a lot He's, he's much more of a safe play this way, I feel like, than opening with him with the um, Rock Slide Thunderbolt variant. Anyways, that is it for this video, Battlers. As always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you feel my vibe. Power up, punch the notification bell for all that PvP content. We'll see you in the next video, Battlers. Have a good sneaking day.